fraud. Even we are not offering them the fulfillment that they need as artists here. Um, it's still shameful what does not go on in terms of encouraging young artists in the Caribbean. But um, <clears throat> and of course, there is a generation of writers from the Caribbean who went to either Canada or England and did extremely well as writers. <clears throat> um, you, you said something interesting. When you, were, when you were a young man and you went to UWE, did you think of yourself more as a poet or more as a painter? Or was there no, no either or for you? I'm asked that question a lot, and I think of both, I think. Um, I don't like to think of myself competitively, you know, compete with myself. Um, <laughs> that would be a little crazy, yeah. Yeah, but it's okay, though. <laughs> um, the Caribbean, I mean, when I was young, the Caribbean had not really begun to happen in the arts. I mean, the country I come from, the St. Lucia that I come from, had never really been painted um, or written about. So it was great privilege and joy <clears throat> to be able to want to do that. Uh, in a sense, your journey as a writer led you to Trinidad, whereas V.S. Naipaul's led him away, never to return, in a sense. But you both arrived at the same destination, which is world acclaim. How did you manage to be nourished by a society he found stifling? Was it because although it was a Caribbean place and an adoptive home, you were still a bit of an alien, still a bit of an exile, being of St. Lucian birth? Or... Um, so therefore you could arrive at a kind of distance as a writer that you would need, a space, because it yeah. wasn't really necessarily the place of your birth, even though it was still the Caribbean? I'll tell you what, I'd like to issue a declaration, uh, Xerox, to everybody who's going to interview me. Just stop, stop talking about Naipaul. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the only question about Naipaul. No, Naipaul is a very, very good writer. <coughs> Has achieved a great deal. Um, I don't think we can dramatize things so simply as saying, by saying, he left and I stayed or something. <coughs> um, some people have to go where their destiny takes them. I think that he is by nature someone who would want to leave the Caribbean. <coughs> because he was never happy here. Oh, and probably will not be happy here. Uh, for his own autobiographical reasons, like his relationship to India is a very arresting one, you know. Um, <clears throat> I recommended him at, at one point for the Nobel Prize, and then when he did get it, I was very happy, <clears throat> and then I was very furious that he never mentioned Trinidad. So. Um, Shakespeare's Caliban, we just staged The Tempest here. It was Shakespeare in Paradise in October, and the play that was chosen was The Tempest. Shakespeare's Caliban says to his master Prospero, you taught me language, and my profit on it is I know how to curse. The red plague rid you of your learning me your language. It's not hard to see why Caribbean writers would be drawn to the figure of Caliban given their colonial histories. But you identified strongly with another archetypal figure, which is Robinson Crusoe. What was it about Robinson Crusoe that appealed to you as you sought to develop your outlook on art, Caribbean identity, and culture? They're sort of given almost cliches about Caribbean literature. <coughs> you can always say Caribbean, <laughs> make a pun. <coughs> um, but the thing that cancels some of those theories is the poetry in the theory. The person who speaks, apart from Prospero's last speech in The Tempest, which is via Ovid, anyway, <coughs> um, the best poetry in The Tempest is spoken by the savage, by Caliban. So what is Shakespeare doing? I think he's canceling his own possible cliche of Caliban does not say, me Caliban, you whatever, you know, and beat his chest like that. Sorry about the mic. <coughs> Um, be not afraid, the aisle is full of noises, that beautiful speech that's there, you know. Why have a savage 
speak it. Well, let's say it is true that Prospero teaches Caliban 